In this video, I will be showing you how to put together your 4 to 1 pulley system specifically for the Circus Gear Aerial Rig. I recommend only using this configuration of pulley system on the Circus Gear Aerial Rig because different configurations can change the direction of the force and amplify the force in ways you may not anticipate. Please contact me if you want to use a different configuration on this rig. This system includes 120 feet of rope. This is a static line rated for 33 kilonewtons, which is more than 7,000 pounds, one aluminum rescue eight for 45 kilonewtons, six steel auto-locking carabiners at 27 kilonewtons, three single pulleys at 34 kilonewtons, and one double pulley at 32 kilonewtons. Every time you set up your system, you should visually inspect your equipment, even if it's brand new. When you're looking at your rope, you want to look through the whole thing and pay attention for frays or cuts. If you're inspecting your rescue eight, You'll want to look it over for any significant gouges or cracks. Same with your carabiners. Look it over for visual damage, but pay special attention to the moving parts. Make sure they're all moving freely and doing what they're supposed to do. Same with the moving parts of the pulleys. Make sure they're all working properly and there's no visual damage. So now that we have all our equipment and we know it's in good shape, let's move on to installing it on our circus gear rig. So when you receive your rope, it may be rolled up in a pretty tight coil. You do not want to just pull it all off the end like this or you'll end up with tons of twists in your pulley system. You want to unreel it as if it's coming off of a reel like this. Once you've set up your circus gear rig to a height where you can still reach it, we're going to put the three single pulleys on these three eye bolts in the middle in line with each other. So clip into this pulley, make sure you get both sides, both plates there with the, uh, the carabiner and we'll clip it on this eye bolt and this, the other two. It doesn't matter which way it's oriented this way. So now that those three are up, we'll go ahead and start running our rope. We'll run it up and over this outside pulley. Then we'll come down to our double pulley. Now this needs to have a carabiner clipped and all three of these plates need to be come together and clip your carabiner through all three of those and this will become our rig point for our apparatus. So our rope can come down through either side of this double pulley and then back up to the middle pulley and over the top in a way that's pointing back towards the single pulley we've already been through. Then down through the other side of the double pulley, up and over the last single pulley, and you can pull your rope through. This is a four to one mechanical advantage pulley system. That means to lift the aerialist, you would only have to pull a quarter of the aerialist weight, but you would have to pull the rope four times as far. At this point, if you have your apparatus available, you can clip it right on here. Whether you clip in your apparatus now or later, you just need to make sure you don't lose either end of your rope or your rig point up above where you can reach as you're setting the rig the rest of the way up. So when your rig is set up, you will have a rope going down each of two opposite legs. You can choose either of those legs to be your inactive or your dead end, and the other one will be your active end or the, the side in which you will raise and lower your rig point. For the inactive end, we're just going to tie a figure eight knot in the end of our rope. So to tie our figure eight knot, take this end of the loop, go down and around and under this. And then we will go back through here. But before we do that, we're going to twist this half a twist and then go through. And that is our figure eight knot and attach it to the foot with this carabiner. It can be attached to any of these four rig holes in the foot. So on the active end of the rope, where you'll raise and lower the rig point, is where we'll use the rescue aid to tie off to the foot. So when we have our rig point to the right height, we'll make a loop in this rope, and we'll push that through the big hole in the rescue aid. We'll slip that loop over the small hole in the rescue aid, and then we're ready to take our carabiner and attach this rescue aid to the foot. You can use any of those four rig holes. And now we can still adjust the height of our rig point. When we get that right where we want it, we'll take our tail end of the rope, slide it down 
between the rope and the rescue eight here. And we'll go around at least two full times, staying underneath those ears. And then we'll push our rope through that big hole in the rescue eight and pull enough tail up. We can make a very simple overhand knot to keep this end up and out of the way. So now you're ready to hang from your rig point. When you're ready to undo this, push this through. We'll undo this wrapping around. And when we get to this point here, we can still very easily change our height or lower somebody down using this as to provide us a lot of friction, make it really easy to lower someone down. But if we want to go a long distance, we can also just unclip this carabiner, take the rope completely off the rescue eight, and quickly lower or raise our rig point. If you're going to set this up once and never need to change the height, you could also just tie a figure eight knot in this end, just like you did on the other end, and clip that to the foot. There's more than one good way to wrap up your rope so that it doesn't twist all up on you. Take the rope about three feet from the end and take full arm's length and then put that loop on one side of your hand here. Do another one, put it on the back side of the hand here and then keep alternating from front to back. Taking a full arm's length worth of rope on the, on the back and on the front. You do that until you have it all in your hand. So once we have a good bit of tail left, several feet, we'll take that tail and wrap it around down here. Once or twice, put it up through here and over. And pull the tail tight. And you're ready to carry away your rope. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please like or subscribe. For an abbreviated, quick reference version of this video, click here. To contact me through my website or to purchase these items, find the link below for circusgearstore.com. I should pull more. Yeah, Maybe try to hold against me. It's not going to be really easy, but <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, you're full of me. You have a 4 to 1 advantage. <laughs> There's the example why you want a 4 to 1. <laughs> Tug of war. <laughs>